Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So let's find out what is going on in Virgo's love life. Okay, so very interesting. I feel like for a lot of you, there's an energy which is indicating you standing up and doing whatever it is that you need to be doing at this point in time. There's an energy of leadership, you know, being in a place of authority, it feels like that. So some of you could be making some big strides when it comes to your career. You could be having a lot of positive things occur for you at this point in time. I feel like the energies are indicating that, um, you know, you're moving towards your goals, you're moving towards your dreams, your aspirations. And for some of you, you may be in positions of power and there might be a sense of feeling lonely at the top. I do get that for some of you. So that's very interesting for that energy to show up. Now, what I feel like in terms of the energies connecting both you and the person you're dealing with, there's an element of feeling overwhelmed and exhausted. I feel like, you know, you've been trying to sift through every single detail, trying to find every piece of information imaginable in the situation and it could become a little bit uh, strenuous. I feel like there's fatigue here. So I feel like there's this energy of trying to know everything that is needed to know in your given situation. However, I also feel like you have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things that are on your plate during this time, yet um, you still make the time to try to know everything you need to know about this individual you're dealing with. Your person's energy is showing up in light of the fact that they're doing some sort of introspection here, but there's a sense of which they're trying to control the narrative, you know? It feels like the type of energy where they're trying to have some sort of power in the situation. So that's very, very interesting in terms of the way that these uh, cards have come out. For some of you, there might be a status difference between both you and this individual concern. There might be an age difference between both you and this person concerned. When things get really technical between the two of you, I feel like there is an element of ego connected to this individual, but it doesn't come to the forefront as much as you uh, would think, right? So that's very interesting. Clarify. I feel like this is going to be a complex reading. Okay, so I feel like this individual that you're dealing with has some very powerful, potent emotions towards you. Okay, it's quite clear that they don't want their emotions to control them when it comes to this connection. Some of you, you know, you could be um, working together with this individual. Others could be living in a different city compared to this person. But I get the impression here that this individual has a lot of volatile emotions that come to the surface every now and then when it comes to you. I also get the impression here that this individual has been doing a lot of self-reflection, but I feel like they feel as if something needs to give. There's some type of ending that uh, your person is preparing for. And I feel like there's a bit of a distance here coming up between both you and this individual concern. It's either concerning what they share with you in this relationship or some major life change that is occurring for this person in their own personal world. So that's very interesting.
Right. So, very unique cards are coming out. What I get from these energies is that someone in this situation is resisting the emotions that they have towards the other individual. There could be a marriage that is in place. There could be some sort of connection that is already occurring in the uh, background of the situation. And I feel like one person doesn't want to give in to their feelings to a very large extent. Some of you, again, as I mentioned before, are in a position where you want to put an end to your frustrations. It feels like there's other situations playing out or other people that are influencing uh, this relationship as a whole and that nothing is as clear cut as you would think it would be, especially with the way that these cards have shown up. This is very unusual for your particular reading because it feels like there's a major shift, there's a major change, there's something um, that a lot of you are trying to take into consideration given what you've been through. There's some sort of major conflict here that is playing out. Someone is either deeply entangled in something else that is ongoing in their life and I feel like it hasn't been easy for that person to walk away from this set of circumstances. Now this could be you or it could be this person concerning um, this connection, the one that you're dealing with. Let's get some clarity. It literally does feel as if this person has a poker face at this point in time. individual is worried and concerned about something. There's an element of grief here that I'm sensing from this individual's energy. It could be concerning another situation playing out. You know, for some of you, this could be this person's ego that is getting in the way of this connection as a whole, or there could be someone influencing this connection in a way it's making it uh, imbalanced, right? Yeah, this person does think of you in light of happiness, joy, marriage, commitment, things of that sort. But at the same time, it feels like they're worried about something. It's either that you're already married, committed, or you had a past connection. Maybe you got a divorce, or maybe this individual is in that situation. But those are factors that are playing a role here to a very large extent. You know, so before they can even consider a commitment with you, they have to consider that you might be in some other situation playing out or maybe they're already entangled in something else. I feel like there's this energy which is indicating a lot of emotions at the surface, but also the fact that, um, you know, there's a need for not wanting to hold on to false hope. Someone may have uh, or may feel as if the other person was leading them on at certain points or certain times in the relationship. I feel like there's mixed signals coming across here, you know. It feels like someone hasn't been completely honest about their emotions. It's, it feels like they're trying to pretend as if the emotions are not there or present. And then we have these energies which are indicating that... Um, on your person's end, that communication might not have been as clear cut as you would have liked it to be. It feels like mixed signals. It feels like, um, you know, they're trying to throw you off the scent. I get that from this individual's energy. So it's very interesting because it almost, it, it feels like they don't want you to know um, their true emotions. They don't want you to know, to read between the lines in terms of their conversations. So it feels like if the two of you are communicating, then what they truly intend is not in that message. It's not even in between the lines. So it feels like they're trying to throw you off the scent. So that's very interesting that that is coming out. And this could be a tactic this individual is using. It could be a form of strategy. Who knows? But I feel like there's a sense of your person trying to create an illusion, create some sort of uh, obscurity in a situation that should be very clear. And it doesn't really make sense at this point in time, but there might be a motive behind that. 
pretty interesting to put all these energies together to get down as what is really going on beneath the surface because they feel like on the surface of it when you look at these energies you won't really be able to see it until you start to connect the dots so there's obviously a reason why this person is doing that I feel like in terms of the energies connecting the two of you, you know, overthinking things is just creating more um, confusion for some of you in terms of these energies um, concerning the situation. Yeah, someone is afraid of giving to the other person in, in case they get a cold shoulder. It feels like that. It feels like there's a fear of... Um, being open and forthright. I feel like these emotions here, they're kind of like, um, what's the word? It feels like the type of energy where it's very condensed, you know, it's very much um, pushed together and it doesn't have an outlet. So even if water couldn't penetrate it. So I pick up that sort of energy from the way that these cards have come out and it's creating a lot of emptiness and a sense of sadness between both you and this individual concerned. I feel like this person is definitely trying to throw you off the scent and I feel like you're trying to put an end to your frustration here and waiting because you've invested your time and you want to see the payoff, yet this individual is reverting to behaviors that feels like mind games, it feels like the type of energy where they don't want you to know what you need to know in this given situation. So there could be an underlying factor here that is playing a role. So what I'm going to explore in the extended is why exactly is this person doing this? Why are they hiding their emotions? What is causing them grief? And, um, you know, why are they sending you these mixed signals? What is the true intention behind it? You know, in terms of that, I'm also going to be looking at um, their mind, heart and soul energy and what is propelling them onto this path, which is kind of pushing you away indirectly when you want to get closer at this point in time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.